Hello Mac Warriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries. We are playing the new DLC. We are playing Rise of Razzlehag, and today we are trying to get our hands on another hero mech in order to help out the Razzlehags later when we get the call to arms. We don't know when it's gonna come, but it will come at some point. So, first things to do today is we're gonna go to the star map. Actually, no. Uh, I'm gonna go to operations because I want to quickly discuss my um, my options that I have right now. As you can see, we have some high-profile missions that I definitely want to play. Some of them at the very least. My highest priority is bow and arrow because we can get a very juicy archer hero out of that. The conspirators is not that interesting, I would say. It's a rifleman, if I remember correctly, which is rather disappointing. Honestly, this rifleman is bad. Uh, so let's take the bow and arrow. But I also want to go and take a look at the circumstances i mean it's nice we get a marauder 3d out of it it's the energy variant but a 75 toner at the very least that thing can pump out a good chunk of damage has three large energy hard points and two mediums it's an okay mech to have and it's a marauder it's sexy as hell but that's not what i want to go for i want to go for where is it protect cold snap no blood mineral blood minerals that's a Gauss Rifle that we can acquire, and a high-tier Gauss Rifle as well, and some Gauss ammo for it. Also an Autocannon 20. So these are the ones that I'm interested in. Blood Minerals and Bow and Arrow, and both are in Marek space. So we're gonna track Bow and Arrow first, and we're gonna take a look at the star map now. So, Bow and Arrow, all the way down there. Oh my god. Like, all the way down there. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I mean, at the same time, we also wanna... Want to clash with some enemy mercenaries, right? Ha. Huh. How do we do that? Um, yeah, I think getting our hands on the hero mech is more important than anything else. So we're going to travel to the industrial hub. Make a bit of a rebuild. And then we're going to go down. I really want to get better mechs on the battlefield. I think they matter. A bunch of you people have already told me in the comment section of my videos that the last mission of this mini campaign that we are playing here is going to be really hard. Oh! <gasps> You say I can get a party son? You say I can get a party son? Do I want a party son? Oh boy. Oh, that is a difficult choice now. We need to get 9 million C bills to get a party. Is this is a good mag. This is a very good mag. Three large energy hard points, one medium ballistic, one small missile. We don't care about that. Uh, and then a bunch of medium energy hard points. This is a very good mech. I can also... Ah, Cyclopses are bad. No, let's not think about it. The Victor is also not really a thing I care about. But the party freaking sun. Let's have a party, guys. Let's go. I want to sell some equipment to actually get that thing. So we will sell uh, Auto Cannon 2 Burst Fire. A uh, bunch of Auto Cannon 5s. I'm going to sell Ballistics, which are very valuable. And I'm gonna sell the low-tier ones that we have lying around. ERPPC, oh, worth a lot. A large laser can go, a bunch of LRMs of tier zero. Actually, let, let me go over here so you can see what I'm doing. Rup, and we have a lot of LRM 10, tier one. Getting to seven millions already. I do like the 15s. I do not like the 20 stream tier one. LRM5s are interesting. We're gonna keep them around for the potential uh, hero archer that we are about to pick up. We have a bunch of medium lasers. Okay, a bit of a spring cleaning here. I need to make sure that I'm not overdoing it though, because I need some of these items later. Tier 1 peep. Uh, yes, let's go. Small chemicals. Will I ever run them? Probably not. SRM2s are also not really a thing. They can totally go. And there's equipment down here. We have a lot of jump jets, which are worth a lot. I want to keep some around, and now we have 10 million Seavills. Oh my god, I think we got lucky here. Let's go to the mech market and buy this thing. Bam! Purchase confirmed. We have a party son. Oh my god. <laughs> Such a cool thing. I like Black Knights, honestly. I like them a lot. They are just so cool. Look at this. I mean, who could say no to that guy? Also, double heat sinks? Yeah, we got two of them. All right, it's fine. We got two of them. We def definitely dropped the SRM. We don't need it. Uh, Auto Cannon 5 is fine, actually. We have a better one, though. Let's make it good. Let's actually make it good. Uh, I think we need two tons of ammo for this. So, put that in the legs. Bam. 
Now, I think the PPC is going to be replaced with a large laser of some sort. I want this to be aligned. And we definitely need more cooling. We have one large laser short burst. Fine. That's okay. Is there anything on the market that I want to pick up? There are certainly more flamers and we need two more to finish the Cantina mission, which also gives us more money. Any good ballistics here? I mean, we sold a bunch of them right now. No. Okay, so there's that. Right. The rest of the mech is... Ah, uh, it's armor. We need more armor on this. I definitely want the arm armor to be maxed out. I definitely want the head armor to be maxed out. Ooh, and then we got 50 leg armor. And also our center torso is not in the best position. All right, we're gonna max that out. 18 in the back. Uh, 14 in the back. Yeah, seems good, actually. Seems good. And then slight upgrade. Oh, uh, 51 on the legs. I hope it is enough. And the rest of the mech, although it's not a lot, it's gonna be single heat sinks. We might need a medium laser here instead. The cooling is garbage. It's absolute garbage. The large laser short burst should probably be a medium laser. So, oh, we can, we can get some goodies in here. We have some tier three. So yeah, we got two larges. We got one auto cannon. I want to keep these tier one, although we have a tier two, but I want to I want them to be aligned. I want them to have the same cooldown and same like cycle and everything. So that allows us to put a bit more cooling into the mech. Also, our heat buildup is not that high anymore because the large laser obviously gets more heat on the mech compared to a medium laser. That's a decent build. So we have some mid-range potential. We have some stuff that we can shoot at flyers uh, or tanks. And then we have some broad potential with the mediums. All righty then. I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. Good. That's the Black Knight. Uh, it's probably also worth upgrading this, right? We only got sensor range so far. Let's let's skip that. Okay. That being said, we dropped the Spiderling. The Zeus is in an okay position. I think it's okay. The Cataphract definitely needs to rebuild. Uh, get some medium lasers back in the arms. It loses the arms so quickly. I'm gonna give it tier 2 weapons because of that. Okay, start the work, but it's still a good mech to have. The Archer is perfect at the moment. The PPC Slinger. Oh god. It certainly needs better PPCs, and we have them. I really hope this thing is not getting destroyed, man. I should drop a single heat sink to max out the armor. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Not like this, at the very least. How low can we go on the legs? 56? 55. Okay, so we're gonna get that single heat sink back, and I put everything into the side torsos because it's better protected there. So even if we lose that arm, we keep our cooling up. Ah, small laser, don't need. Not at all. 63 it is. Good, looking great, guys. 20 armor in the back, seems okay for me. I definitely need more center torso front armor. This thing tends to get destroyed via center torso destruction. Okay. Start the work. Good. Now, the Victor is fine as is. We could upgrade the weapon system slightly. I don't want to do that right now. I want to I want to be quick with this. Uh Spiderling, I want to keep that. We have these medium pulses in here. Oh, God, I don't know. Let's repair it. We have the time. So the grasshopper. Do we keep that around now that we have a party sound which basically fulfills this role way better? It'll take a lot of money that we don't have. What would I do with this thing? It's not a good mech. I'll scrap it. Yeah. I don't think I need that. Sell mech. Boom. Got money. Nice. I want to rebuild the Thunderbolt. That guy needs an upgrade. PPC down, SRM down. Also, ammo is here. Good. So, we're gonna put another medium laser into this. Maybe a large... Oh, we can get the short burst large laser in here. Sure. I want to make it a bit more ranged oriented. Um, so the large laser short burst is just fine. It deals a good chunk of damage. And now we're gonna put LRM10 stream right here and a ton of ammo. Boom. So now we have some more stuff that we can engage with at range. Wonder if the heat management is too good, like too much. Give it another ton of ammo instead. Bunch of mediums. We have better mediums. Good. Fine. This guy is gonna be on the battlefield quite a, quite often, I would say. Good, we got that. 
Um, yeah. Wolfhound definitely needs more armor. Never mind, it's fine. Has crappy heat management, but that's okay. It's just what it is. It's a wolfhound. Crusader is fine. Oh, the Centurion. I wanted to actually build the Centurion because it might be a very good... A very good asset on the battlefield. Ammo and leg. So, the question is, do we keep the stock build? Which is not a bad one, honestly. It's fine. It lacks a bit of cooling. Um... Lacks a bit of cooling, says the guy behind the camera. But it also lacks a bit of center torso armor and side torso armor. Alright, we drop the LRM-10. Give it an SRM instead. Maybe just a 4. One of these. Okay. That allows us to put one single ton of ammo in here. We're gonna max the armor. SRM's being lighter than LRM's, by the way. And that gives us the ability to drop a little bit of leg armor. That's a thing that I'm pretty okay with. Actually, I'm gonna take a half ton here. We are slightly under tonnage, but that doesn't matter, so I can now put some more single heat sinks into the mech. This is a filler mech for me. This is a mech that I will run whenever whenever there is a need of like a 50 tonner on the battlefield. When I cannot quite get another heavy in, I'm gonna take that guy. Alright, I think we have built everybody now. Oh, actually, the Sidewinder. Oh my god, our hero mech! I'm sorry, it'll take a bit. Um, auto cannon 20 burst fire out. We're gonna take the tier 3 that we got. Bam! Nice. I do like my AMS. If I remember correctly, though, this mech has a bit of problems. A bit of heat problems. This SRM-6 is too big. We're gonna take a 4 instead. Let's take... We, we did have another tier 2 stream. There we go. So we got AMS ammo. We got one and a half ton of SRM ammo. Keep the half ton here, right? Large energy slot, even. That's crazy, man. Ooh, do we go small lasers? Ah, I think we could. These are tier four. Yeah, they're pretty good. So, what I need is... I think I have enough ammo. Maybe I need another ton of AC-20 ammo, by the way. I'm not entirely sure. But... I'll give it another single heat sink, Which we should actually stock up on. And I'll give it another ton of ammo. I would love to get a half ton. Wait a sec. Alright. I think half a ton is good. Of AC-20 ammo. And the rest of the tonnage goes into the head armor. I don't want to get a cockpit breach. Into the center torso armor. And into the leg armor. Which is already maxed out. So yeah, this is the weird spot where we are slightly under tonnage. Ugh, I hate it. I do not like it. But I cannot really see any way to make this happen. It's fine. Insufficient sea billows. Ooh. I mean, it's 5 million sea bills. Okay. We're gonna get some money back. Uh, how do we get it? We sell the Jenner is actually quite good. This guy can go. We drop the jab. We need 5 million sea bills again. Uh, we have something in a cold storage that we can also sell. Alright. I guess we sell the Jenner. We don't need that guy. Just to build the Sidewinder out. Okay, again, repair all. SRM dropped. AC-20 goes in the leg. AMS goes in the leg. SRM. One ton only. Half a ton here. Another ton here. Medium lasers out. Uh, small lasers in. We need the SRM4 stream. That's a thing. Here we go. What else am I missing? Uh, max armor. What else am I missing? Can we take a half ton of AMS ammo? Ah, uh, we don't have it here. On the market? No. Okay, so... How did I manage that? One ton of SRM. I cannot remember how I did it. Okay, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, full ton of AC-20 ammo? Like that? I think we got everything that we want now. We got three tons of ammo, one ton for the SRM, we got AMS ammo, single heat sinks galore. No, wait. I want the full ton. There we go. 
Good. So, we have the money. We don't really have money to go anywhere at this point. So we're gonna go to the equipment section again and we're gonna sell some items. Oh boy. That is interesting. Oh wait, we can we can turn this in now for money. 400,000, a tag, single heat sinks, and a bit of reputation. This is helpful, but not enough. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Man, I needed that hero mech. I certainly needed that hero mech. And I'm sorry for the long, like, preamble before the action, guys. You could skip ahead, I hope. Um, drop the AC-20 tier 1, that's a good one. I'm not really sold on the heavy rifles, but they also don't give us that much money. PPC a T3, I should keep that around. I should really keep that around. Okay, let's sell some items here. Man, I like my LRM-15s. But I guess we dropped them, and this, the 20s as well. They are just the biggest boxes of money that we can get out of here. We still have to finance our... <laughs> our journey. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go here. See how this is going. Spider refit. Maybe I shouldn't have kept the spider. Instead sold the spider and maybe kept the Jenner or the Javelin around. But hey, guys, we have a good chunk of metal that we can use now. I really want to play that party sound, man. Right, 13 days until we have a bit of money problems. I could play a mission in between, but I really don't want to. 400,000. Okay, we need more money. Because otherwise we will go bankrupt. We have an AMS tier 3. We should totally use that. Alright. Okay, so more LRMs. This has to go. Tier 0 weapons. I don't care about them. We're gonna come back from that. Also, Artemis is a thing I probably drop all the time. Cool. Can we repair here? No, we cannot. Good. Let's keep going. Let's go. Let's go down here. And I really hope that we can actually build our... Oh god, there's so much going on. Yeah, we can build our dragon because I want to get the better AMS. We have two hero mags that we can play now. The Partisan and the Sidewinder. It's gonna be interesting. A Beagle Active Probe. That's a good one, but I'm not gonna buy this. Checking all the things we don't get. A large pulse as well. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, um, yeah, the only thing I wanted to do is take the dragon, get the AMS out of here, get the better one in there, obviously, to destroy more missiles. And, and this is where we go now. Cool. Down to Holt. Here we are. We're totally play. We will totally play the next Heroes of the Inner Sphere mission. I'm ready to go. Only took us 18 minutes. But hey, it's also part of the game. You know, the whole economy part of it. I really feel like this is, this is fun for me. I hope this is fun for you as well. Thinking about builds and thinking about what you want on the battlefield. So, first mission. Campaign mission, obviously. These are high tier. Alright, let's play this. I'll take the salvage. A bit of damage coverage. And we are certainly not playing the spider alone. I'll actually bring... Hmm. The Sidewinder. I want to get the Archer on the battlefield for some extra long-range support. And I want to get the Partisan to see what it can do. Where's Partisan? There it is. Good. Now we have 65 tons. And that is a perfect Thunderbolt. Oh, I like it. So we have some long-range, mid-range support. Long-range, mid-range. Actually, just mid-range support. Some long-range support. And we are the Brawler. I hope this is working out. So, who is the best with missiles? You might be. You are better with heat management and evasion? I'll take you, Mr. Murphy. The Black Knight needs ballistic and mostly energy. And heat management. So, 5 out of 8 seems good. This is better for the moment. We also need to stock up on better pilots. And the Thunderbolt is a mixed build. We're gonna take you. Yeah, seems okay. Una Thompson. It's also pretty good with missiles. Five out of six and five. Yeah, let's go you. Good. I'm ready. When you're ready. First part of this multi-mission campaign. Or mini campaign that we are playing here. Let's go. So, the cool thing about our 
first destination from Kate was picked clean by an unarmed force. Yeah. Cool thing about our hero is that we can use our mask and go, go fast like that. Go in and level their base. Alright, we should level the base. Yep. God, I love that auto cannon burst fire. So, now we have their attention. I shouldn't do that. I wouldn't probably deal any damage here. We have a minimum range. Oh, we have a maximum range, rather. There we go. Small lasers. I probably want to wait for my friends to arrive. That's what I'm talking about. The large lasers kicking in. Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, that auto cannon is so good. It feels so juicy. Okay. Oh, there's a catapult coming. We gotta be quick with the Phoenix Hawk, otherwise our the catapult is gonna kill us. I send the attack command to the cat. Oh, they also have an awesome. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I'm taking care of the tanks while my friends are going for everything else. Okay. Ah! Too many tanks. I'm the brawler. I should brawl. We have to follow up, guys. Guys, we need to follow up now. Couldn't kill that. Guys, what's going on? Attack! Feels like my friends are not shooting their weapons right now. I mean, they were on the cat, but only partly. Uh, I should really go for these guys. And the heat is critical. Good, 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 good. That's the Phoenix Arc. Catapult is still dropping the damage like crazy. Is it me or do they take more damage than usual without going down? I mean, I'm in the back now, but I'm also pretty hot. Uh-huh, I can outrun you. Oh no, you're punching me. Ah, uh, still not. Holy hell. I mean, we got that guy on the catapult next. Oh man, oh man. This guy only has a small laser. I just completely ignore that guy. Get that cat. Uh... By the way, sorry for the whole bobbing of the mech when I disabled the mask. Okay, okay, okay. Man, we are in the base. But it takes a toll. Ugh. Brawl with me. Good. So we got that. But I'm also damn hot. Gotta manage my heat. That catapult gave me hell. Zed managed the heat, wanted to go in, I thought I had enough threshold, and I was wrong. Alright, we got that guy. Holy macaroni! So, we are do just destroying the base at this point, running through it like a boss. Mm -hmm. Just in on the corners here. Actually, we cannot do that, because it's slightly raised on the platform. Okay, I'll, I'll just destroy this then. Yeah, let's go. Run through here. There's another... Ah, oh, that's just a Phoenix Arc. He's gone now. Beautiful. Oh my god. We have taken a lot of damage already. And there's another wave of attack coming. The whole smoke situation is rather bad. Uh, good. By the way, I am ignoring the turrets for a reason, because I want to be done with this quickly. Good. The walls now. The helicopter now. Nope, never mind. Couldn't get him. It's weird. I'm not able to hit it reliably. Probably need to go to first person again to actually aim. I like that my that my heat uh, alarm is going off all the time here. <laughs> hey, at the very least, we got the score. Yeah, there we go. 
Uh, it's kind of important to get the opposing forces down. Wait, did we just lose track on the mech that's coming, or...? It's a Vulcan. Oh, here it comes. We should destroy it. We should. No, there's another guy. Assassin. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Ah, I need to cool. And that's what we do. So, I'm gonna leave it to my friends. Uh, they're dying. They're dying. The Archer, mostly. Archer is getting wrecked here. Okay, next is the Centurion, certainly. Boy, is that a mission? Alright, I'm gonna go and, and go for normal vision again. Carriers need to go very quickly. Got him. So, on the scent. Ammo low! Although I have so much of it. It's crazy. Can't believe it. There we go. So, Assassin is on my tail. No, Centurion is on my tail. We'll take your autocannon. Or your your big weapon arm. That's for sure. I don't dare, by the way. I don't dare looking at my archer right now. Centurion down. Beautiful. Got him. Ah! Run over him? Good. So, on the base again. We gotta smash this. I will ignore the assassin. He doesn't have a lot of firepower. I don't think that he can destroy our friends easily. What I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure that we finish the mission. Okay. Eh, that was a bit too much. Okay, we have 5%, guys. I don't dare looking. Ah, oh, we lost our arm. We lost the arm on the partisan. We're done. Okay. Yeah, that archer was never here. So, ah, uh, still fine ish. You go away. So, this is a whole your princess is in another castle situation that we got here. Ah, uh, crap, dropship. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Come on, guys, get that assassin down. I'm gonna attract fire from Mr. Hunchback here. I shouldn't. I totally shouldn't. Maybe I should. Actually. It's better that, that they are hunting me than anything else right now. I still have armor. I'm running. I'm taking damage to my legs. I know. Ah, uh, leave my archer alone. I want to at the very least keep my LRM 15s. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we're done. No! Black Knight! Live! Evac, now! What a mission! What a mission, guys! Oh my god! This is intense! This is so intense! But I did I don't think we didn't lose anything critical here. Wow, two million sea bills, and we need it. I could take a cat. Yeah. Yeah, that's a catapult in my ranks now. Also pretty good AC20. Hmm. Hmm, I'll take the LRM-10 stream, that's for sure. Auto cannon 2, not really sure about that. I'll take... Oh god, nothing anymore. Okay. Do I need a catapult? Not really. Do I want one? Sure, why not? It's a dedicated missile mech again. It's a nice all-rounder, I would say. It's, it's like a... I would say a lower tier archer. And we are about to get an archer from this mission, right? From this, like, mini-campaign, Heroes of the Inner Sphere thing. <sighs> that changes things, actually. I don't necessarily need a catapult. I would rarely run it, because I probably have better support mechs. So I'll take the weapons, then. Because that's what we need as well. I, I need more medium lasers. We are, we are losing so many of them. So frequently. Good going so we were actually running out of ammo <laughs> crazy uh, that's a good auto cannon gun we'll take the next best thing yeah I know that we are in the conflict zone but what can I do uh, I can not use the archer for a while actually yeah 80 days so the B team has to come in and this here 
We lost a single heat sink, but we click the repair all button and everything is Gucci again. Right. Another thing I can do is lose, an, lose the AMS completely, but I kind of like it. Getting more tonnage freed up. So it's one and a half tons because one ton of AMS ammo, half ton of an AMS. And the one and a half tons could be half ton of AC-20 ammo and another single heat sink. Alright, so we have to run the next mission with what we got down here. Which is fine, I guess. Alright, let's go. Next part. Bow and arrow. Accept. Close. And we gotta go. But where to? Wait. That's the campaign mission. No, that's the only truth that sticks. Where's like, where's my, where's my, where's my... There it is. Heroes of the Inner Sphere, Bow and Arrow Part 2. In the zone of the filthy... How do you say that? Lucre? L L Lucre? I don't know how to say it. Alright, we go and have a good time there. 13 days. I really hope that we can finish this, like, mini campaign. Get the Hero Archer before the next call to arms of the uh, Rise of Wrestlehack mini campaign comes to life again. They'll call us. And in the meantime, our job is to get better. Bow and arrow part two. Good. So what kind of this? This is also a destruction mission, I believe. Gets a bit of salvage here. And I think more damage coverage. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take one of these artillery strikes. Great. So 67 days. That's a time that I cannot invest. 45, 25. Two days, so I can keep my Thunderbolt, which I feel like is a good one. I'll certainly take the Victor. I think the Awesome might be good here. And the Cataphract. We are under tonnage. Let me actually play the Awesome in this position. We can always swap if needed. Um... Yeah, I'll do it like this. We only wait two days. I think time is of the essence here. And we're gonna we're gonna cycle through our mags. While one of them are being repaired, the other ones are fresh and you know, it's it's good. We're already in a conflict zone. Mm-hmm. Let's go. You hear that? Lots of ballistics. When we are getting out, we should go out guns blazing. We killed an Igor randomly. Bowen, along with a number of Merc forces, have been using a series of satellites to broadcast false leads on the whereabouts of his father's mech. We'll have to take these satellite stations out in order to stop the spread of misinformation. Oh, that could all right. Chaos for the remaining all right, all right, all right. I should be quick on the trigger finger here. Who wishes to oversee the progress of our mission? Setting up on comms now. Right. Good. So, what are we doing here? We're raiding. I didn't realize the lengths my brother would go in keeping right, let's do it. From you. When I There's a turret behind us, but who cares about that? I just want to help in any way uh huh. I can. Uh huh. Uh huh. So far, so good. I appreciate that, Kate. What I don't appreciate is chasing down false leads to collect what's mine. Keep build up is fine. Brother, I mean, the stock awesome is is an all right mech, I would say. With a bit of luck, we might be able to get some headshots out here and take him down with one shot. So, this first section is just a long walk so that they can get their message across, and now the fight begins again. That doesn't kill. Oh, interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Whatever. There we go. Flyers are flying in. No, one PPC does not kill. What are you? You're dead, that's what you are. So our goal is to take as little damage as possible when facing these tanks. We want to be as quick as possible with the killing. I'm also triggering whatever is in that base by destroying parts of the base. If there are any enemies, they will go and walk up to us now. So let's check this out. Our plan is long range. Take them out before they can do it to us. Hello, friends. Where are you? Fast 
Want to be careful, careful here. Don't want to take too much damage. So I send my people over to the right. So actually, we send them up commander. to here on the hill. Get the high ground situation going for us. Uh, this is the first base. Yeah, There's a flyer. Oh, they spawned in now. Got him, got him. Got him. Just some tanks and the light mech. Yeah, that should be easy. Oh, yeah, baby. I'll take him, guys. Come on. That's good. Oh, I love the triple PPC build. Oh, that's a Thunderbolt. He's behind cover. I mean, obviously, I'm sending, sending the attack command. But there, oh, there's, there's stuff. There's stuff to come. Get him, get him, get him. Get the T-Bolt. Oh, man. What are we having here? Marauder. Uh, more flyers coming in. Crap. Crap. Ah. It actually flew into the dropship and got killed. Leg, 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 leg. Show your leg. It's not the leg that I wanted, but the leg. What the hell, Mr. Fract? Lost an arm again. Why? Panther. That's why. Also Marauder around. Oh, that's a bad start. I'm not happy about it. Our cataphract is getting pummeled. I really wonder why. Wow, look at him. What is going on? <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We gotta go for a headshot here. Take him out quickly. That was Santa Torso, but it's still good enough. Try again. Yeah, almost like I planned that, right? I called it. Headshot. Uh, we are about to lose a fract. That didn't deal damage? Why? We certainly hit that guy. Oh no! Follow me. We ignore the scorpion. We gotta keep going. Ah! Bad start. Bad, bad start. But we can make this happen anyway. We still have something. Like a... Why did he attract so much fire? I guess the answer is... He was running an autocannon 10. Burst fire, I believe. That just has such a rate of fire that he put out a lot of DPS. And as a result, the enemies retaliated because they dealt so much damage over such a short period of time. They usually aggro the guy who deals the most damage. Anyway, we're gonna get this going. We're gonna get this done. Let's move around here. Next base, coming up. Okay. I'll set Liu over here. I want her out of the fight for the moment. She can just secure our backs, I guess. Enemy vehicle, in the area. vehicle, fine. We can deal with that. Sadly, not a hit. And that, 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 that doesn't kill. We shoot three PP freaking C's at this. And it doesn't kill. Very important to kill the carrier before it can do any harm. Well... I think I'd rather have the high ground, but now that we are down here, I feel like we, we keep pushing this. Twist. Uh, by the way, our left side is our sh shield side. Whenever we can, we should take the damage to that. Oh my god, a Warhammer. Uh, to that side. Uh, take the side toss out. Mitigate damage. Good. Taking way too much damage right now. Uh, this is not good. Way too much DMG that I'm taking in. Why are you here, by the way? Why is my cataphract going in? I told you that you should stay on the high ground. Uh-huh. Did I accidentally send the all attack command? I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep going. It's the best we can do right now. Another flyer coming in. And a hunchbot. Headshot. Uh, that's a side torso, which is good enough. Right side twist this time. I want to splash the damage evenly. I feel like my PPCs are... I don't know. They deal no damage. 
you go away? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of attracting fire, huh? Ooh. I'm trying to manage as much as possible, as well as possible. <laughs> oh god. Guy up here. Too high. Too left. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Boom! No, try again. Got it. Uh, do I have to get in there to trigger it? I, I believe I'll do it real quick. Get that marker down so that we don't have to backtrack at any point. Small turret. And 200 meters. No, really? More? Okay, we got him. More flyers! Oh, it's the big boys. Got him before they could get a shot out. So important. The last base will probably be destroyed with an airstrike. Maybe, hopefully. I believe that there might be a lot of resistance. Like, bigger mechs. Maybe we can soften them up with our airstrike. Like, this base down there on the right. Let's scoot over here. And I feel like we triggered this base already. The hunchback was coming in. There were a bunch of tanks. There shouldn't be anybody anymore. Never mind. So a PPC discharge. Something shot us. Right side twist is the better side still. Or pull back completely. Ah, that worked. So the panther is down. Where is this thing that we have to destroy? Ah, it's that one. Go, go get him. Okay. Objective down. What? Where did you come from? Was he spawned in? That little locust? Hello. Goodbye. Okay. So, let's not deal any friendly fire damage. Um, and we probably want to take the ramp more than anything. Come on, guys. Take it down. Ah! Good. Thank you. These Igors are scary if you don't take them down immediately. They bring so much firepower and it's death from above, basically. You know, not, not really death from above, but you know what I mean, right? It's danger from above. They have so much stuff. And when they're above you, then you can only use your arm weapons to actually look into the sky properly. That's a tank behind us. Ah, that's a scorpion from earlier, probably. Who knows? Yeah, let's keep going. I think everything considered, we still have it pretty much under control. It was just very unfortunate that, for, unfortunate that the enemies went for my cataphract very early on and balled up on them. Armor is still fine on my mech, on my awesome here. It's, nothing is critical, that's the important thing. I know that there's a lot of orange and red, but there's still a lot of structure left. Our hit points are not only external, but also internal. Okay, and at any point we could also swap towards the Thunderbolt and draw some aggro with that guy. But I really like my ability to snap shoot into the sky, into the tanks and, you know, deal a lot of pinpoint damage. Also trying to go for headshots and take enemies out in an instant. So, my goal should be taking the high ground. Oh, bad. Get the high ground, shoot from above. Seems like a plan. We want to wait for a second. For a second. Uh, here they come. Oh boy. What a nice rush over the hill. Rough. Didn't kill. Weird. Got him. And then... Oh, no. Slightly off. Oh god. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me get out of here. He's a brawler. He doesn't like me. We take that side also though, he has no weapons. That's the problem of the hunchback. Everything in one component. All of the weapons sitting there. So was was that a vanguard or is there a, is there more? Was that all? I don't know. We're gonna check it out. I should not use the the artillery strike pattern because I might want to destroy something that's in here. Huh. Alright. I mean, there's a dropship coming down after this, right? Target 
I, I need to know. I need to know. Huh? Anybody? Are we done? No, I think we are. Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue now, and I don't think that they drop a dropship into that kind of dialogue. Got him. Yeah, we are safe. We're safe, we made it. So, airstrike, not needed. I know, it's sometimes, you know, I prepared for it in case there's a, like a big wave that I wanted to soften up or like an objective that I needed to get down quickly. So, wasted salvage, wasted um, money, basically, but hey, you never know. Sadly, this second location was also a bust. Head back to the dropship, Commander. Good. So, back to the dropship. Next mission, coming up soon. I'm pretty happy that we didn't lose the cataphract, but it's always the case that it's getting a tremendous amount of damage, whatever we do. Losing arms left and right, that's the first thing to drop. I mean, they are pretty big on the cataphract, in general. Maybe we shouldn't run that guy anymore, I don't know. Really feels bad. Oh, and I think... Uh, what we, what we totally can do is take the Victor instead of the Awesome, because it can run faster. So we get out to evac a bit faster. It's a big difference if you run 64 or 48 kph. So, just so that we used it. Look at this! Boom. So, third time is the charm, says Rihanna, but I have the feeling that this is a four-part mission, that the third the third mission that we get here to find the hero archer is also something like, yeah, they it was there, but they just moved it, and now we have to get it from, like, uh, another situation. We'll check it out. This is our loot. We have 15 picks. Hunchbacks are out of reach. I wouldn't even take them right now. Lots of single heat sinks, no doubles yet, but that's okay. Um, yeah, difficult. Actually, it's not that difficult. We'll take the medium lasers. We can always use them. They are just a workhorse of a weapon system. These are just valuable, I'll take them. And then one more pick for another medium, fine. Good. They're at 1400. And the Victor 690, not bad. The Cataphract 726. So, I now know why it was attacked so often. Because it was pumping out the damage like crazy. Alright, we killed Igor, we get money, we get single heat sinks and a bit of reputation. Next, bow and arrow, part three. Ah! Ah, there we go. There he is. Archon Magnuson. Uh, Commander, I hope this uh, past year has served you and your company well. I wanted to reach out because I will soon be in need of your services for a very important task. While I cannot provide any further information at the time, just know that within six months, okay, I will be reaching out to you with an offer for long-term employment. If you're interested, I would ask that you send, spend the next six months concluding any active com commitments you have and prepare as many combat ready mags as you can. Uh-huh, as close to a full company to 12 mechs and pilots would be preferred. Uh, look for my offer soon. Glory to Razlak. Okay. Okay. We have six months, guys. Six. That's not a lot of time. That means we will be repairing these guys. And we can. Beautiful. 75 days, yeah. Oh, God. Um, 12 mechs and enough mech warriors to field them, right? Technically have 12. Not the best ones, though. I feel like we need more Assault Mags at some point. So, high tier missions are due. Let's go to Bernardo. Bow and Arrow. Part 3. Let's go! I also kind of want to get the oh, Hero Orion. That is a good one as well. You can, you can make a lot of stuff happen with that guy. Obviously, the King Crab is just a beast. The Corsair is extremely good. So, if um, X marks the spot, is offered. I cannot take it because it's all the way in the north and it will take so long to actually get there. Uh, I don't know. So. Uh, what are we doing here? I'll take the salvage, I guess. Bit of damage coverage. Man, do we want that airstrike? Last time it didn't help, but now it might. 
I'm gonna bite my butt if I... If I could have used it here. So, 12 days. I think that's the time that we can spend. By the way, it would be nice if you could tell me how long it takes to repair in this screen, just as a hover. 30 days? No. 12 days still? I could play the dragon again. Fifty-two. Archer is out of reach. It's a three hundred and forty tier mission. God, we need we need firepower and we need armor more importantly. Okay, twelve days. This is our squad. I feel like the dragon is gonna get hit hard because it will run to the front line and just brawl there. I don't like it. I really don't. But it is the th it's the way to play now. Again, I try to be as aggressive as possible with my PPCs to get things done. We're moving on a decommissioned base that the archer may be stationed at. Yeah. Commander, I believe my father would have hit oh, it's the friendly. Oh. within the walls of the base when he retired. Okay. I doubt my brother will be far behind though. You'll need to secure that facility and fast. Sure. Sure. By the way, I like their accent. And fast. So cool. This is the place, Commander. Right. Find out and secure the facility so the support forces can move in. Ah. They didn't take damage because of my shooting. So, defense base should be easy for us, even if the enemies are bringing a lot of stuff, because they will come in waves. This should be... We should be able to handle this. If we are to have any hope of our salvage teams finding King Kid's Meg after all this is over. Ah, smart AI now, by the way. How fast are you going? I don't know. Alright, we try to kill the Phoenix first. If the Flyers are coming in, I'm gonna aim at the sky real quick and try to take him out as much as possible. Yes, the Phoenix arc. I try to go for headshots every single time. This time it works. Let's go again. Ah, too high. That's the, that's the drawback. If you aim too high, then you get nothing. Okay. Hot here, by the way. Mm -hmm. Who's shooting the ballistics? I don't know. One. Oh, it's toasty. It's very toasty. Gotta be careful. So we want them to attack the base more than our mechs because the base is extra armor for us. It's an urban mech, right? No, a fire starter. Nice. Yeah, fire starters are nasty in a hot environment. Okay. Ugh, I'm sorry for the janky movement right now. I just need to maneuver properly. Go for me! Yeah, I'm the bad boy. Man, my PPCs feel like they have no impact on these guys. Is it me having played modded so much and being being like used to the, the other damage patterns? Damage numbers even? Could be. Could totally be. Okay, they got some skirmishes here. Right, let's go for the locust first. They got a panther and I believe another panther in the back. The base is big enough that we don't have to worry that they are raising it to the ground in no time. And yeah, this, by the way, it's a four part. Oh, I don't know if we can play the last part today. The video is so long already. We'll see. Maybe it's a nice start for the next one. There he is. So, you have no PPC anymore, buddy. What? Ejected? Why? Okay. We intimidated that guy. For sure. Okay, he was running in a hook. What's that? Another locust not moving at all. Here it is. Yeah, I totally destroyed that warehouse. That's more like it. Got it. So I sent you over here while I move to the J. Edgar. Over here is to the, to the left to that locust there. I don't know why he's idle. Alrighty. I got the tank. You get the locust. 
Oh no, is he spawned in? No, he's not. He is spawned in the in the ground, right? Is he? Please don't tell me that. Hello? Oh, if he spawned in the ground, we, we have to restart the mission. We cannot finish it then. But it seems to be in active combat now. Yeah, it's fine. Good. Slightly off. Is night vision better? You like there's a yes. And down he goes. Good. Alrighty. We're gonna keep going. We have a third of the stuff done already. Big hunchback, AC20 burst fire, some flyers coming in. A J Edgar. And another locust. Can deal with that. As long as we stay out of reach of the burst fire autocannon. Too high. Try again. There we go. Another locust. Yeah. Let's go for Mr. Locust first. As soon as J. Edgar is popping up, I'm gonna go for that. And you can see my dragon friend here. He's pushing like a boss. Mr. Hunchback. J. Edgar coming soon. Okay, I go for Hunchy. Wrong side to also, but anyway. Help out here a little bit. And then there's the Edgar. J. Edgars have a lot of armor, so you need a lot of firepower to take him down. So, sending my friends over to the other locus while I'll deal with Mr. Hunchback. I don't want any of your burst fire. Let me go for your head. Yep. That worked. Ugh. Turn around. Be critical. Oh, he's getting pummeled. And one more, come on. You can take that. Really? Guess we pin him down. Thank you, friends. I didn't shoot again because I needed to actually cool down before the next wave hits. I want to be as ready as ready can be. And I see some LRMs flying. Igor. We'll take that out first. Seems to be some carriers. Yeah. He's not dead. Still not. Uh-oh. Don't pivot to me. Ah! Guys, help! No! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that was scary for a second. Who are you? Oh my god. Alright, I'll take care of the tanks. And you go for the locust. Actually, I have no other targets, so I might as well. There we go. A one down. Take that. And now, one shot for this guy. You must have yep. Really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. More hostiles in so the beehive has been kicked, as per usual. Yeah, I, I need to cool. Oh my god, I need to cool so bad, because there's a dropship right in our position. And more flyers coming in. Please take this real quick. I'll focus on what's in front of us. What do they bring? Thunderbolt and an awesome. Yeah, I mean, the awesome is obviously our first target. Awesome's head is here. Ah, a little higher than that. Come on, Awesome. It's a PPC duel, and I don't see any anything anymore. So I shoot randomly. The head is being hit quite a lot. So we go chain fire to maybe hit him again multiple times. Yup. Ah, center torso anyway. Right, Thunderbolt in... Thunderbolt in the base. Do we accept base damage? Well, we could. Right, we're gonna open him up. Hello? Yeah, it's fine. 75% marking here. What I really like, by the way... Again, another headshot, but it wasn't enough to breach. Uh, what I really like is that our dragon is so aggressive. Love that. Uh, excellent. excellent lucky shot. Maybe. Maybe I was aiming for it. So, seems good, guys. I think we have this totally under control here. Looking awesome. Ah, uh, pun not intended. Good. So, the blackjack and then uh, we got like five enemies after that. 
Where's your cockpit, buddy? It's right here. Ah, it's not there. By the way, the power loader here, the roughneck right next to us, it's just terrain. I like it a lot. Why are you able to hit me? Oh, it's not enough to kill! We just need a little bit more. Boop. No. Boop. Still no. You lost weapons though. Your resistance is pulling in more Good. From the Five enemies area. before we can get out of here. Holy macaroni. Holy macaroni, guys. So it's another dropship. It's another tank. It's another flyer. So they have a mixed drop that they are dropping on us. Two guys from the dropship and a bit of stuff from the outskirts. Where's the ship? I lost track of it. I mean, we will see soon enough. Alright, that guy down. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Assault mech! It's a... Huh. It's, a char it's a good charger. Guys, come back. We need to put ourselves into a, into a defensible position right now. Let them come in one by one. Next up is the Shadowhawk. Go for the head. Didn't quite get it. But it was good enough. I need some threshold to actually attack the Charger. Alright guys, all in. This guy needs to go. He has a lot of weapons. So much firepower on the single guy. Center is fine. Left side twist. Oh yeah, there it is! Was twisting him a bit too fast. Udon is ready. Sight also destroyed. That's an AC-20 burst fire off the battlefield. I'm okay with that. Ah, it's just destroy him center torso. Good. Last enemy on the board is a short-range missile carrier. Take him down, guys. Just take him down. It is fine. We got this. So we, are, we got an overall armor damage position here. Not the biggest of deals, anyway. Let's go Thunderbolt, you can do it. Scrap that one. Made it! Made it out alive with, I would say, minimal damage. Acceptable damage at the very least. Didn't lose anything. Yeah, okay, so... Huh. Interesting. By the way, I can already say it uh, at this point. If you enjoy what you're seeing right now, consider subscribing to the channel. My channel is all about Mech Warrior and Battletech content, uh, the video game specifically. So if you enjoy that, hit that subscribe button and get notified when the next video drops. However, right now we have some salvage to take. And then we need to make a decision. Do we keep playing or not? We have already, already an hour long video and I usually kind of aim for one hour. 18 picks. We shouldn't have headshot everybody, because that upgrades the, the picking cost quite a lot, because there's a lot of mech still left on this. Headshot, headshot, not a headshot. Eh, almost. No, 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 I mean these are locusts. I don't think I'm gonna take any of these little guys. I'll take weapons instead. Large laser tier 3, LRM tier 3, medium laser tier 4 and stuff like that. That's helpful. That PPC is garbage. I'd rather have two medium lasers of a high tier variety. Is there anything like a double heatsink in here? We should always check. But there's none. So that's my pick. Beautiful. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to stretch it too far today. We are going to initiate the next video with the last mission of this Heroes of the Inner Sphere Hero Mech Salvage. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. As I was saying, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.